I ate ramen every single day for the last two months because I really wanted to learn how to make ramen seriously, specifically tonkotsu ramen. In order to get that white, thick, and creamy broth for your tonkotsu ramen, it takes time, like 8 to 12 hours kind of time. What is happening is that pork bone is being broken down and fat is being emulsified into the broth using the stove. But even before that, you have to do two things to get this white color, soak and pre-boil. Soaking will remove the myoglobin, which gives it the red color. Four to five hours is the standard, but I highly recommend soaking overnight. Yes, that is more time. And then you have to pre-boil. This will extract any remaining impurities in the form of scum that affects the color of the broth, and you will have to skim that off. This takes around 15 to 30 minutes or until scum stops floating to the top. And make sure you steer the pot because sometimes scum could be hiding underneath. And then you have to rinse. And no, not just rinse, you have to clean some of the gunk attached to the bones. Use your fingers and rub it really well because these two steps are vital if you really want the iconic color. So now it's time to boil. A good rule of thumb is to always have enough water to cover the bones from start to finish which means you'll have to add water here and there. This will happen more than once because you are boiling the bones at high heat. This is known as rolling boil, where it extracts the collagen and the protein as well as emulsify the fat into the broth. And please, make sure you steer the pot periodically to prevent any bones from sticking to the bottom. And oh, don't forget to refill the water. Towards the end, like one or two hours, add your aromatics. For me, I kept it simple. Onions, cabbage, green onions, carrots. It's not mandatory, but it does add a different dimension to the broth. If you do plan to add any, clean and skin off any parts that are dirty. Note that aromatics should only be added towards the end because any earlier would simply break it down, rendering it useless. It could also ruin the color of your broth. Just imagine all that hard work just ruined. By the end, the amount of broth left should be relative to how much bones you put in and the time you have boiled it for, given that you have refilled the water. More time equates to much more richer, thicker, and more broth. I know, this is a lot, but this, this will be worth it.